So, those are the panels and uh, I sanded the corners a little bit down so it's like a smooth transition and also I dripped some epoxy uh, on there so all nice and dandy and it's it became really stiff so that's why I like HPL to us uh, spacers it's, it's rather nice hmm, here's still a little bit this is really smooth this one has still a little bit the edge a little bit. Don't want to cut my mylar. If I could use a tape for this purpose, that would be great. I don't know any tape that holds the mylar properly, but pretty sure there is. Some people say mentioned only the 3M double-sided tape, but yeah, I'm not sure which one. FHB tape might do it, but that's like really expensive and way too thick as well. Well, unless you use it as a spacer as well, but then dimension-wise or accuracy is quite of, I don't know, it depends on how hard you push on it. Uh, how much the spacing is, so not too sure about that. So I'm gonna add a layer of uh, 30NF on this one, on these two, maybe two layers, leave it to dry, fill the jig and do the same. I always grab the cheapest kitchen sponges I can find to do this job. Uh, also, uh, put the 30NF in a glass jar instead of this can because uh, it will just like the paint cans after a while if you open it a few times pour stuff out or whatever then you're screwed because the lid is like close by either the paint or in this case the glue and uh, it makes a mess if you want to open it because it's stringy like elastic and then when it does give eventually it's it splatters glue around your room which is not so nice or in your eye or whatever it's just not nice it might be a bit too much it's like a really thin coat and I do a few of those because it's if you put too much on there in one go it will drip through the holes So I don't need to cramp it in the corners because there is no magnet sitting against the spacer itself. But got me a heat gun to speed it up a little bit because, well, I don't have all day. I do, but. And doing co two coats uh, just makes sure you uh, covered all of it, or well, at least more chance you did. At least once. So I'm going for three coats this time. I think I use two coats normally, but. Make sure all holes are like not clogged up because that looks 
not so nice. So, gonna put these aside, they will dry on their own. And then I'll do a magnet. I do need to make sure that I do them exactly the same. So I am gonna cut a piece of magnet off, that's gonna be my reference for this fanger. Or I could use the, the magnet I used for all my tweeters, also as reference, might do that. So it needs to stick on that and that will be my first polarity. Now let me see, did I, I do need to know how I did it. Okay, so I just put it on, then put it in the jig. Okay. Now remember. <laughs> remember, remember. Could be looser, this magnet. I mean, it is quite a hassle to get it in. So it is a little bit too wide. I need to get rid of all the crap in between. Let's put some glue on there. Once put glue on there and not in the, you know, the jig itself or it will be stuck. Forever. Forever and ever. Uh, one uh, nice thing is that the 13 f will be uh, stay it will stay okay to be used like two hours or so so I can even make you know have a break and then do the other one so now this is going in there and hopefully uh, I have enough room on my SD but who knows yeah of course timer 25 minutes then it shuts off apparently I'm just gonna do it by hand
Ooh. Now there is no method of moving it. So did it line up? Meh. Could be better, I think. But, yeah, I should have used something. Well, in the end, I should have made made this a little bit wider or the template like half a millimeter smaller. But I thought because of tolerances, it might be that I that it doesn't fit at all. And that would be crazy annoying. But uh, now I'll see it, it will fit. So I'll just gonna pound it in. Especially the ends are important because otherwise you cannot lift the thing. So now hopefully I can get rid of the black stuff with something screwy or maybe this piece of wood, who knows. So it needs to let go of the magnet. Pounded in some uh, flakes of the material. <laughs> but as you can see, it lines up with the holes. So there is as much open area as I can get from this kind of metal.